it's officially hurricane season. I know six months ago we were we were tracking more storms, but right now some good news to start the day. No tropical activity is expected over the next five days. But keep in mind, all it takes is one, and we could have yet another busy season. So I I know you guys are not ready for it, but we still have tips for you guys to stay ahead of any storm. Let's send it back to you guys. Yeah, actually, we are just a few hours into this hurricane season, mm -hmm. but already the message from officials, even really leading up to today, has been to get a game plan now. And they're warning of deadly mistakes that you'll want to avoid. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says portable generators often used during power outages can cause carbon monoxide poisoning if used incorrectly. Last year alone, a large majority of hurricane-related deaths confirmed by the Louisiana Department of Health were attributed to CO poisoning. CO is an odorless, colorless gas that can kill you and your family in minutes. The CPSC says now is a good time to check the batteries in your carbon monoxide detectors. They should also be placed on every floor of your home. Also remember to never refuel your generator while it's still hot. Place a tarp over it when you're not using it to keep it dry and never use it indoors or within 20 feet of your home. And there are several key changes to this hurricane season that you'll want to be aware of. We've already seen one of those changes after six years of tropical storms and hurricanes forming earlier than the start of the season. NOAA, the, the National Hurricane Center, has decided to issue tropical outlets earlier, which started on May 15th. The NHC is already scrapping the Greek-named storms because they were too confusing. We have a huge area that we cover encompassing many countries, so it has to be translated, and the Greek alphabet didn't translate very well. It led to some confusion. Uh, even using the word Zeta as a name, some people thought that was the end of the, the Greek alphabet, which is, is not. So we don't want to distract from those impacts. Now, there were only two years where we ran out of hurricane names and had to use the Greek alphabet. That was last year and in 2005. So starting this year, if forecasters need more names, they will pull from a list that will remain the same each year unless names are retired or replaced.